Hey guys, it's Andrew with GY6Vids. Sitting around, kind of bored on this humid day. I'm like, what can I do to lighten the mood and bring some smiles to your faces and myself? And then I realized, I have two can cannons. What's there not to like? Okay, so many of you already know about the can cannon. I'm sure you've probably seen videos on it and a lot of topics about it, a lot of talking points. Maybe you were at a gun show and you saw these bad boys. X products is going around and people are buying these things up like hotcakes. You can't have enough fun when it comes to firearms. There's too much seriousness going around and making firearms look negative. Well, X products, originally, their main go-to are these killer skeletonized drum mags. They've been very popular, but then they thought to themselves, why not make a can can? It's just like your own personal cannon. It's not so much just a can cannon, uh, though they dub it the can cannon. Anything that can fit in there safely without being too snug, you can launch it. And we're gonna get into some interesting stuff, including seeing if Superman really can fly, if a toilet plunger is lethal with the can cannon. <laughs> you never know. Uh, let me explain this to you real fast. You, you, when you buy a can cannon, you get this. You don't get the Vortex Optic system. Now these Spitfire 1s, the ones that aren't magnified, they just have a circle. The Spitfire 2s, which is on this one, slightly larger, has a circle on it as well as a line underneath of it. So you can target this can cannon like a mortar system. So you can just work your way up that line and just start getting more round after round on target. And we're gonna put that to the test to see what it will do. So you don't get the Vortex Optic, sorry, but you can always put it on there. They have the Picatinny rails. Uh, it does not come with a bolt carrier or a charging handle. You gotta get that yourself, but you can take regular standard bolt carriers and charging handles and just stuff them in here and snap them under your AR-15. That simple. Let me explain what I'm talking about. As you can see here, we have the Voltor Weapon Systems Upper with the four to 12 Diamondback Vortex Scope, as well as Lantac Dragon Muzzle Brake. So with the upper, you push the two pins, one in the back, one in the front, pop out the back one, and then you go to the front and you pop off this pin. Whoop. Whole upper comes off. You can set this aside. Okay, I'll put it back on. <laughs> so you pop this off, you can set it aside. You wanna make sure to keep all your 5.56 ammo and 2.3 ammo away from your can cannons, that way you don't get them confused. Um, I use Hex Mags magazines because they have the color identification system. Always want to keep it separate because pumping a 5.56 round through the can cannon, eh, not going to work. So now you have your lower, okay? So you have just a regular buffer tube. I got the ATI tact light stock. You need your trigger assembly. I have the CMC trigger flat triggers on here. You then take your charging handle and your bolts. Snap on the lower. to the can cannon upper, and you are ready to rock and roll. Five, five, six blanks only. You do not want to use five, five, six. <laughs> there is no way this is gonna go through, and let me explain that. You unscrew the front of the can cannon, and you're left with the vents. As it fires, the gases come through and expel out these ports, and those gases, as I'm sure you guys have all understand, push through the tube, and push itself out. So in essence, X Products has made the official legal spud gun that you can buy for yourself. It is a lot of fun and a lot of people, you'll put this on here and you're gonna start thinking not like you would with a normal 5.56. You don't wanna start acting like it's a toy. You treat it just like a firearm, show it respect because the last thing you wanna do is forget that you put a 5.56 mag in and you shoot a friend or try to shoot a can and it blows up in your face. Not good, not what we need in the gun community. So be careful, be safe, treat it like a firearm. And also, don't shoot cans at your friends. Don't try to catch cans. We're about to test to see how this looks on a ballistics dummy. And I'm gonna tell you, taking a can to the dome at how fast this thing can fire it, could kill you. See what happens to Casualty Carl when we shoot him with flying objects out of the can cannon. Casualty Carl, my official term. Everyone says ballistics Bob, so I'm going Casualty Carl now. Yeah. I think that's gonna stick. All right, so first up against Casualty Carl, the standard soda can. Let's see what this looks like. 
Nice. Good collecting glove. <laughs> well, I think we coated them. Okay, it seems the can ruptured before it even got to this target. So that is a possibility, it does happen. That's why they always want you to use higher end cans, but even with this higher end can, still didn't work. So let's see if this one's got a little bit more oomph behind it. Oh my God, that would hurt like hell. Okay, we got Carl back up. So we have regular soda cans, and then you have the little chubbies. We're gonna shoot the little chubby. Fire in the hole. <laughs> All these crayons, I'm shoving them into the can cannon, but that, Looks these. Good to go. All right. <laughs> uh, didn't go as planned. The plunger. This oh, should look pretty cool. See if we can get some suction on old Castle Carl. Oh, we're gonna try that again, dude. A lot of power in this. Blows the plunger halfway back. Well. As we're able to see, definitely not shooting objects really fast, even when there is a seal behind it. So that's interesting. <laughs> oh, that didn't do much. You know what this can cannon needs? There's more cowbell! <laughs> Why did I even buy this? <laughs> We've taken Nerf darts, okay? And I've super glued thumbtacks to the top. See if we can launch these. They are hollow in the back, like all Nerf darts are, that captures air. So, I don't know. It might be so much of an explosion it could just rip this. You never know, but all oh, the name is science, man. You, gotta, you just gotta do it. Giant Nerf arrow slug. Oh, I'm gonna go a little bit closer. All right, let's see what happens. Got the cool. I think we almost got one stick. Cool enough, let's move on. Not sure if this is gonna work, but by God, we're gonna give it a try. Let's see if Superman can truly fly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but if, <laughs> this is entertaining to say the least. Let's see what happens with Superman's first attempt at true flight. Never know. This should, theoretically, push them out. Let's see just how fast it pushes them out. All right, soups, time to meet Casually Carl. Right in the far. Yes! Hopefully it'll look cool on high speed. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> All right, let's get into what I like to dub the X products games. See what I got. All right, time to see what else this can cannon can do. I definitely know it can shoot tennis balls and whack it with a racket. <laughs> Let me run around this. Heels are live with a fast. And holy sh! Wow, that thing sails. I gotta plan this out better. Oh. Oh, where are you? I lost in the sun! <laughs> oh, and it's out of here! And it's in the spider-infested forest. Screw that. 
I'm just gonna be using another tennis ball. You seen the spiders in Texas? Uh -uh. Outfielders tennis racket challenge. Ooh. Oh. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh crap. At least I can retrieve that one. Oh, this might be the money shot. This might be the money shot. <laughs> Prairie dogs are a bitch. A lot of holes. Oh. Ah, son of a. <laughs> Gosh dang it. No. 40 low. Oh man. Come on. Come on. Damn it. It's one thing to swing at something coming at you, but timing a perfect trajectory down to hit it, harder than it looks. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. Never was good at tennis anyway. All right, let's see if we can smoke check that Pepsi on that barrel out there. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and why not? Smaller one. <laughs> so it rolls. Let's get the big ones now. Stay. All right, this should work. Hopefully. Ugh. Sticky balls. Never a good thing. All right. We're back in line. Loading the cannon. Let's see if I can angle. So I'm dead center in the middle. Let's see if I can angle a shot to get those in the net. Hurrah. Oh, oh, come on. Catch the net. Oh, gosh, dang it. Yeah. And for your knowledge, I do pick up all these cans in this foot high grass. Not easy. All right. Get in there. All right, let's go for that first one again. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a can that's been stuck in the net, captured, spraying its guts out. Well, Go over the right one again. Yes! Boom! Suck it, ball! Oh crap! Let's see how fast I can do a speed reload into that net. We'll do that. Ready? And. Well, not too bad. Okay, so last but not least, I wanna see how accurate this thing is. Obviously, we got some decent accuracy at it already, but now we're aiming for a small little bullseye that's kind of moving. Got a camera down there, it's about 100 yards out. Let's see what happens. Spitfire Vortex Optic open. And like I said, they have this range uh, reticle that has a circle and a line on it, so it's almost like an artillery cannon, which is nice. So we'll see what we got. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 15. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, close. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, come on, net. Come on, net. Yeah, I got one on the net. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on. Uh oh. Camera. Oh, net again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, come on, baby. Oh, just over. Last one. Last can. All right, come on. Think about right there. Ah, no. <laughs> At least I got net. 
and then the sign. And that's the game. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the full review of the X Products Can Cannon. And as usual, make sure to subscribe to GY6Vids. Link is in the description, or you can go to youtube.com forward slash GY6Vids. It'll take you to my main homepage on YouTube, and you can subscribe. And also, on that subscribe button, click the notification link after you subscribe that'll send you emails when the new video is up. And as always, if you guys have questions or any concerns or just want to reach me on my own private time and see some behind the scenes, you can go over to instagram.com forward slash gy6vids and you'll be able to see all my kind of behind the scenes postings of pictures and all sorts of crazy crap. Uh, you can hit me up on there for private messaging or on comments through the pictures. You can go on facebook.com forward slash gy6vids. That'll take you to my Facebook page. I'm always here to help and always here to talk guys when I get time but if I don't respond right away, bear with me. I appreciate all the support. Couldn't do it without GY6 Nation. Thank you so much, and uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Later.